A Chattanooga artist found a way to make her work stand out by turning up the heat. In this week's Maynard hometown, Kayla Strayer takes us to the Art Instinct Studio where fire brings a wood canvas to life. With the flip of a switch, the heat is on. I started burning my first picture and it came out way better than I thought it would and I didn't set anything on fire. Chattanooga artist Holly Berry trained herself to do something very unique, using torches to burn wood into art. You preserve your lights and you very, very gradually build up your darks. She calls this torch painting. There's no erasing. The typical reaction. Wow, I can't believe that's burned and I can't believe um, that you just use torches. Today she's working on this custom torch painting of an elephant. I wanted it to be like the moment that an elephant charges you and stops just short of running you over <laughs> so that you could be truly impressed by their their power. Holly uses three different torch sizes depending on how much detail she needs. If I need a really fine detail area, this is my secret weapon. She's had a studio at the Chattanooga workspace for three years now. She says it can be tough to make it as an artist, especially starting out. After three years, I'm definitely profitable. I'm still working up to getting a living wage. <laughs> Holly says one of the major challenges for working artists is getting health care. So she's thankful she's covered on her husband's plan, leaving her free to keep bringing the heat. I do think that every single torch painting I make is a little bit better than the last one. <laughs> Reporting in Chattanooga for Made in Our Hometown, I'm Kayla Strayer. That is so cool. Yeah. That it really is unique. Yeah, no doubt. You know, you can view Holly's work and the work of more than 40 other artists by visiting Open Studio Nights the first Friday of every month. It's at the Chattanooga Workspace across from the downtown YMCA off of 6th Street. We now know the small town of Murphy, North Carolina.